CYO sees itself as being a provider for recreation to everyone. Both of our camp programs, Camp Marydale and Camp Rebuff, are fully integrated. Um, we're very proud of that. Since uh, the late 1950s, Camp Marydale has been run out of our site in Fuslinch, which is in the township of Flamborough. In Flamborough, it was very far for kids, say, in Stony Creek or the new city of Hamilton. It, was, it just became too difficult for us um, to keep running the program there. In the midterm, we've been running this camp program at schools in Hamilton while looking for a new site to develop for the new home of Camp Maryville. We have acquired a piece of land on the edge of Bimbrook. This is a wonderful piece of land with access to a lake. It has enough room that we can put in pools and pathways, nice hiking facilities. We're very excited about this being our home of uh, New Marydale Park. My name is Matt Zwolak. I'm uh, born and raised here in Hamilton, uh, grew up as an able-bodied individual um, in Stony Creek. I went to Colonel Newman High School, which is where I actually work at now. I went back as a teacher. However, just before I was about to start Teachers College in uh, 1999, I suffered a spinal cord injury while cycling. That left me a quadriplegic. Getting from point A to point B in order to Take part in recreation is a much greater challenge, needing somebody to drive me or needing to arrange for a bus to get there. And then once I'm at point B, once I'm there, can you take part in the activity? Can you get close to the swings to maybe push my baby nephew? Can I do that? That's often not possible. Many of the facilities that are available in the city of Hamilton are not barrier free. Talking in terms of curbs and access to uh, water, um, pools, and beachfront. I've got uh, plenty of people that I know that are willing to uh, help me boost the chair and lift, up, lift me up the stairs and whatnot, but it's the lack of independence and the lack of inability for me to be able to do that on my own that kind of frustrates me. It's a challenge, a deep challenge for those people that have to try and use a wheelchair or uh, some assistance in terms of navigating uh, treacherous uh, ground. Marydale Park is going to be barrier free. We would like to create a park that is barrier free park where anyone can use it um, regardless of your ability. If you have an elderly parent or someone in your family that uses a wheelchair, you'd be able to come to the park and actually spend a day, enjoy yourself, and not have to worry about things like walking or rolling on a grass path because it'll be paved. The thing that excites me about the park is that it's going to be built from scratch 100% accessible not having any afterthoughts where, oh, we should have thought of that, or that's something that maybe we can retrofit this bathroom to accommodate somebody in a wheelchair. The bathrooms will be built wheelchair friendly. The concept park is gonna be amazing. It's going to allow people to be more independent, to access things that they otherwise wouldn't be able to access. Park, you'll see um, a 30 by 9 meter pool with a sloped entry for wheelchairs. There will be accessible fishing platform, canoeing, sailing, pedal boats. There will be um, hard surfaces so that you can wheel your wheelchair through wooded areas. There's fully accessible washrooms and change rooms, barrier free parking at the entrance, and a convenient bus and car drop off. Chris, in the past, uh, if they did an orienteering, could not go into the forest that far. Where with the new park, they're going to have actually pathways that go through the forest, and he can get in as far as he can with other kids. They're going to be able to do these things now that all the other kids are doing. There's going to be very, there's going to be less restrictions at the new park. Another positive that I can see is disabled campers maybe being able to go off on their own and 
go experience something and it'd be adventurous and maybe take an avenue down a trail and know that, you know what, I'm not going to get stuck and I'm going to be able to make this path. In a park that's accessible, uh, I'd really look forward to being involved in um, any activities, setting up picnic tables for dinner, um, just being able to get around myself on pathways and not having to wait for somebody to take me or ask them to. Um, just using a washroom by myself would be amazing. At the old uh, Camp Marydale, it was very difficult to get him close to the water for fishing. Where when, when it's going to be up at the conservation area, uh, having a, a little docking area that Chris can actually go out over top of the water, maybe drop drop a rod in with my help, of course. Um, I think that's something that would be very beneficial for us, and that's something that I would use at our stage right now. There's many organizations out there that are trying to provide positive recreational experiences for young children, but CYO is really going out of their way to make sure that all types of kids experience this together. You know, just being treated on the same level as others, it's more focused on my, my abilities rather than my disability. Whether it be a senior who needs a walker, whether it be somebody like myself who uses a large oversized uh, wheelchair, whether it be somebody who may need crutches or a cane in order to get around. This is an opportunity for that person to go and experience recreation without any worries. For people who often have a lot of things to worry about, it'd be a great experience. We know Hamilton needs Maryville Park. The percentage of the population with disabilities is higher than the provincial and national averages. I think that's the exciting thing about the park. It's unique to Hamilton. Hamilton needs something like this. This is something new. It's something that's really needed in this community and something I'm sure that we can all support. Mm -hmm.